Cuba admits it was behind the massive weapons cache discovered on board a North Korean ship traveling through the Panama Canal. The ship was sailing from Havana to Pyongyang Saturday when officials from Panama searched it and found 240 metric tons of military equipment, including nine missiles, two anti-aircraft systems, and two MiG jets, all hidden under bags and bags of brown sugar. Late Tuesday evening, Cuba's Ministry of Foreign Affairs released a statement saying the weapons found on the vessel were from Cuba, but that they were, quote, obsolete Soviet-era defensive weapons Pyongyang was going to repair and then return to Havana. These are weapons that it needs up to upgrading and repairing in order to protect its sovereignty, to protect its independence, to arm its own military, uh, trying to make the case that this is not about arming North Korea. But even if Cuba's statement explains why the weapons were on the ship, Havana and Pyongyang still violated several major international laws and sanctions. First, Panama forbids arms shipments to pass through the canal without prior approval. But even if Havana and Pyongyang had notified officials, it is unlikely they would have let the ship through since a United Nations security resolution prevents weapons shipments of any kind to or from North Korea. A BBC security correspondent says Cuba's admission explains why the 35-member crew fought for five days to keep officials off the ship, but that the incident still doesn't fully add up. If avoiding detection was the plan, why not simply fly North Korean technicians and parts to Cuba to fix them instead of risking getting caught? The U.S. State Department says it strongly supports Panama's decision to stop the ship. North Korea has yet to comment on the incident. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.